Hello students, this is my first of four how-to videos on parts of an atom and finding isotopes and ions. In the first video, we're going to be talking about how do you find protons, neutrons, and electrons using a periodic table. The first place where we need to start is with this information. In order to find uh, the information on a periodic table, you first need to know what the parts of the periodic table cards are. So, this is an example of what helium looks like from the periodic table. The first number is called the atomic number, and it tells you the amount of protons. The thing about helium is that every single atom of helium has two protons. It doesn't matter where you find it, the fact that it has two protons is what defines it as helium. The number at the bottom tells you the atomic mass. If you were to take all the helium and then find out its, uh, its weight, you would come out to an average of 4.00, and this is in the units called AMU which stands for Atomic Mass Units. So this number represents an average. From class, this relates back to when we talked about how each lab group has an average number of boys in it. If you found out that the average number of boys in a lab group in science class was 1.8 boys per group, that wouldn't mean that there is a 0.8 of a boy walking around. Just like with these um, averages for atomic mass, if you have a decimal place that comes out to maybe 0 0.05 or something like that, that doesn't mean that you have 0 0.05 of an atom. And what I mean by that is this number, 4.00, comes from the parts of an atom, which we'll get to in just a second. The last thing is mass number. The mass number is when you take the atomic mass and you round it to the nearest whole number. So this helium example is pretty simple because 4.00 rounded to the nearest whole number is 4. Now, here's what that 4 represents. On average, when you round this, that means that there are 4 things in the nucleus. Since we already know that 2 of those things are protons, the other 2 have to be neutrons. Here's how we know that. In an atom, this is an example of a drawing that represents a helium atom. In an atom, there are protons and neutrons in the center of the atom. The protons in my drawing represented by the green, the neutrons by red. And each one of those has a mass of 1. So since helium, by definition, has to have 2 protons, 2 of the parts of the nucleus were already adding up to 2. 1 and 2. Because the average mass of helium averages out to 4, the other two things in a helium atom have to be two neutrons. We're going to talk about in a later video how if you have less or more neutrons than that, that's how you get an averages that, averages that make these decimal places different. The last thing is electrons. Electrons have zero AMUs. That doesn't mean that they have no mass. It's just we assume that because the mass of an electron is so, so small that it's not worth it's so small that we just kind of round it out. It doesn't even, compared to the protons and neutrons, it doesn't even have an effect. So now let's talk about some examples. The first one is BE, that's the William from the periodic table. In order to find the protons, we look to the atomic number, and we four. The neutrons in this example is going to be rounding this atomic mass, since 0 0.01 is a really small number, it's less than 5. We're going to round down to 9. That means that in the nucleus, on average, beryllium has 9 protons and neutrons. Since we know that 4 of those 9 are protons, the other 5 have to be neutrons. For now, until we get to the ion video, electrons are the exact same as protons. That's because electrons have a negative charge and protons have a positive charge. And so we're talking about what's called a neutral atom. It doesn't have an overall charge. That means that the pluses have to balance out the minuses. The iron. In this example, the atomic number is 26. So it's got 26 protons. All iron has 26 protons. For neutrons, this time we have 55.85. That rounds up to 56. So, if we know that the nucleus has 56 particles in it, protons and neutrons, 26 of these are already from protons. That means that 30 of them have to be from neutrons. And again, electrons are not like the protons, 26. My final example, for argon, the protons.
Tage, so elf Tage, so vier Tage miteinander, so ein Minuten alles. Du hast 39,95 für die Atomic Mass, and you round that, that rounds to 40. 40 minus 18 is 22. How many electrons is the same as the electrons? 